Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Techies and this is our Angular 16 NGRX tutorial. In this video, I am going to cover the below topics. The first one is how to dispatch multiple actions from our NGRX EFX. And the second one is implementing materially based snack bar notifications. And the final one is displaying alert from our NGRX EFX. Okay. So in my previous videos, I have explained how to handle this put post delete request from our NGRX EFX using this black screen example. Once the action is completed, we are updating latest value into our black screen. Okay. For the example purpose, if I am changing this into 16, once I saved, see, so the latest value automatically reflected in our listing screen. Okay. At the same time, we have to notify the user by displaying the alert message. Okay. If you are receiving success response, we can say the particular action is completed successfully. Similarly, for the error scenario, we have to provide the complete error information. Let me start the implementation. So as I mentioned, I'm going to use this material UI snack bar. So let me import the required model from our material model. So the component name is snack bar. Okay. And the model is match snack bar model. Okay. We have done the first step. Next, let me go to the effect side. So in this effect, I am going to create a new function for showing this snack bar notifications. and it is having one input message and the data type is string so let me save this one next in our constructor side let me inject this snack bar okay so we can save this one next in our functions it's having the function is open and here I am going to pass these messages. Okay. And the close button text we can provide as OK. So next we can provide some properties. Okay. Vertical position. We have this uh, top and bottom options. So I am going to use this top. Similarly, horizontal position. We have five options center, end, left the right and also this start so I'm going to choose this end okay we can save this one okay our function is fine next I'm going to create this action so since this alert function is the global one we can reuse in the different models so let me create one new action okay I'm going to provide the name is app dot action show alert App event show alert. So let me save this one and then I'm creating the action. Using this create action, I'm going to use one props message. Okay. And the data type is string only. Similarly, I am going to create one empty action. So there is no props. Okay. So next, let me go back to our effect side. And here we can create one new effect show alert equal to create effect. So this data action using this pipe option, we can check the action type. Show alert. Next, we can use this XCast map. Here, I'm going to use this action. So next, I'm going to call this show snack bar alert function. And here, we need to pass this message basically we can get it from our action and let me return this one because we have to use this close event 
so let me format it after dismissed so that means once the pop-up is closed we can use the pipe and here I am going to dispatch the empty action okay so let me format this one okay this is fine so next let me take this update effect so in this update effect uh, initially we are checking this action once this is the update block we are calling our services from these services we can expect two kind of response okay one is the success and another one is the failure so in this success scenario i am dispatching this update block success so using that the latest value reflected in our store okay and here after we have to dispatch one more action that is our show alert okay so what i'm going to do let me return this show alert and this is expecting this message i can provide like updated successfully see this is the kind of disabled because already we are returning then obviously it's not going to call so let me remove this return so let me save this one now if i'm trying to update this one so instead of 16 i'm going to provide 17 see i'm getting this message updated successfully at the same time the value is not reflected here so if i'm refreshing the screen i will get the latest data so that means so actually it is dispatched only one action that is our show alert this action is actually not dispatched for dispatching more than one actions we have to use the switch map option okay so this switch map also belongs to our rxjs so let me import it manually switch map okay so let me remove this one and here also and inside also instead of the map we can use this switch map and here we can use the off operator so let me remove this return and here also here we have to use this comma separator and in this failure scenario also we can dispatch the same alert so let me remove this one because in this failure point of view we have to provide the notification that is more than enough update failed due to we can provide the exact reason so let me save this one so now very much we have completed our changes so again i am trying to edit this one so let me provide angular 16 so if i am clicking see i am getting the message that at the same time the value also got reflected so let me close this one so again updating this dot net see so we got the notification also similarly the value is reflected here okay and the next thing is failure scenario for checking the error scenario i am going to change the url okay i am clicking this update so if i am trying to save this one see update failed due to uh, because of this reason we got the error basically it's not required to show the complete message for the testing purpose i just included everything okay and similarly based on the success and the failure scenario we can change the color also so let me show you so first in our action side i am going to pass one more props action result string okay next in our effect side in this show alert i am going to pass the one more props action result the value let me provide as pass so similarly for this uh, error scenario we can provide just to fail okay so next in our effect side i am going to pass this action type also 
action result actually action dot action result okay and here I am getting one more response action result so the data type is string and the default value is fail okay and next I am adding two custom classes so let me include in our style.css so then only it is applicable for whole application the first one is the green snack bar and another one is the red snack bar okay so let me copy this one in our effect side class equal to here I'm just checking this action result double equal to pass then we have to use this class other ways red okay next in this property side we already fixed the position so similarly I'm going to use this panel class I'm going to pass this class okay so let me verify this uh, function so now if I'm trying to edit this one if I'm saving see we got the failure situation so our button is in the red color okay at the same time if I'm changing the correct URL just angular see updated successfully and also I got this green color notifications okay okay this is fine and the next thing is automatically closing this notification okay so in this current scenario I just to open these notifications when I'm clicking this ok only it is closing otherwise it is not closed so if you want automatically get closed after sometimes that also it's possible for that we have one more property so the property name is duration okay I'm going to provide 5000 value see now if I click to save after 5 seconds it is automatically closed okay this is fine next I am going to implement the same alert functionality for this uh, create block and also this delete block and before that let me do one more optimization so as I mentioned this is the global functionality right for showing this alert so currently I am keeping in this block.effects so instead of that I am going to create one new effect file so we can provide the name is app.effect dot ts okay and here also first we have to use this injectable and export the class app effects okay next I am using the constructor and private action this action and next we have to inject our snack bar so after that we can move the functions and this uh, show alert effects both are in our app effects okay so let me cut both items I just added here so let me format this one and we are getting some error so look like we have to import everything once again so the first one is create effect then this pipe pipe belongs to our rxjs only and this is actually actions okay so it belongs to the effect side and this action is not needed next to this half type it's included and this xcast map so this is the rxjs property and this empty action and this show alert so next in this map so that also a rxjs operator okay so the error got resolved so let me format this one 
okay we have done the changes the error also got resolved there is no changes in our blog effects and finally we have to register this app effects okay so let me go to our app dot model so here already we have included this blog effects so after that let me include this app effects so let me save this one we can verify our update from Schulte once again 16 okay the value is reflected and also we are able to see this notification it is working fine so the same changes we can apply for the create and delete scenario also so in our blog effects so let me copy this one let me include it here this return so instead of this CX custom map I'm using this switch map option I'm just removing this brackets and here also instead of this map I'm changing into switch map removing this return and the next one also okay this is fine okay and this message created successfully this is the pass response okay so in this failure scenario also I am dispatching this show alert file to create blog so that's enough action result is fail okay so let me verify once again test test added so if I'm clicking save see created successfully I have got the notification and also the record is included it here okay and the final one is remove so in this remove also so let me copy this action once again in this delete block I'm just added here okay I'm changing this into switch map and this bracket is not needed I'm just changing this one and here is no data we can use this off operator so the return also not needed removed and in this failure scenario failed to remove so let me save this one so if I'm trying to remove this one so removed successfully and also it is automatically reflected here so next one okay this is fine so finally we can do one more testing just creating a new record dot net so I created it is working fine I am trying to update this one 7.0 it is updated successfully finally I am deleting it is removed successfully okay at the same time if I am changing the URL for generating the error so in this master services also this create okay again I am providing this dot net if I clicked see failed to create the block failure message if I am trying to update update failed because of this some reasons and similarly if I am trying to remove also failed to remove okay so this is the way we have to handle our notifications and alert in our effects so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarifications please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel so in my next video I am going to explain how to include the loading spinner okay thank you thanks for watching